This is an incoming transmission from the Jersey Shore. This is Financial Insanity with Scott McLean, powered by McLean Advisory Group. Today you'll hear some of the most important financial information and wealth building techniques available anywhere. Let's get this party started, huh? Do you have a question for Scott and the team? Am I, am I, am I on the air? 609-488-4646. That's 609 609- 488-4646. We'll get that information to them by radio. Now, Financial Insanity with Scott McClain. Last year, Americans gave more than $319 billion in individual charitable contributions. Good for us. Now, noted investor Warren Buffett says in general that we are a generous society, and it sounds like it. And if part of your legacy includes charitable giving... Important to get some guidance, obviously, on the best ways uh, to do that. We're going to talk about that and more. This is Financial Insanity. I'm Alex Dingman, along with Scott McLean, McLean Advisory Group here in Waretown. And Scott, charitable giving, really uh, on our minds this time of year. We got some uh, audio from somebody who... uh, has always given away a lot of money. In late November, Berkshire Hathaway chairman and CEO Warren Buffett announced his annual donation of more than $870 million to several charitable foundations. This is all part of a pledge he made back in 2006 to give away most of his wealth to charity. I think that a rich person should leave their children enough so they can do anything but not enough, so they can do nothing. We've talked about this before where, you know, setting your kids up for success is great, but obviously, you know, how did you get there? And there's something to be said for teaching your kid to, you know, the grind and what it takes to be able to take care of yourself. That's the grind is called education and knowledge. I think if you're with your children, as I, with my children, if I can, when they're with me, more is caught than taught. Hmm. That's number one. But on number two is, you know, you leave your kids a heck of a wealth and they're going to burn through it because that's called the entitlement mm-hmm. stage. And and there's nothing wrong. Everybody wants to receive money when mom and dad die. I mean, they go there, and there's no doubt. I mean, the question is what they're going to, what they're going to get. The question is what they're going to do with it. They know what to do with it. When I had a discussion with uh, one of my daughters, I said, you know, honey, in all fairness, I said, if you receive money and I passed away, what would you do with it? And I was guiding her along receiving an inheritance to make sure it, it doesn't get squandered if there's a possible divorce how do we protect it from long-term care and so we had a little discussion uh, over uh as my grandson was about to play football we had a little quick a little breakfast together and then we talked about something quick more is caught than taught and of course when you give people things they're going to be entitled although i do believe those that are givers out there if they're like me um really cautious of giving I think you're wise. I, when I look at a foundation, I'm going to be donating to a foundation, as many people do this time of year. What a beautiful time of year. And they make themselves, psychologically, it makes you empowered. Emotionally, it makes you excited that you donated. But when I hear people say, yeah, well, I gave uh, this club $25, the veterans $50, and uh, this company $100. Okay, is that really giving? Yeah, it is. But the question is, now, what is really giving? What is your definition of giving? I use a, the scriptures, Titus talks about it. You know, if you're going to tithe to the church or your foundation, number one. Number two, and not on top of tithing, but I also think about when you are giving money away, how much of it actually gets in the hands of the recipient? So if you're giving to, let's say, a veterans group, how much actually goes to the veterans group versus the marketing for the veterans mm-hmm. group or the police uh, group or the fire department. I want to know how much one dollar goes in the hands of the charity. So if you're out there and you're you're don't want to give money away, okay, fine. I, I think you should. I love I love donating money. They get a, who gets the money. Another way of giving. I remember taking my kids to Orlando and we went to vacation. Many of you are heading to Orlando or have already been there and going to get packed up with people all over the place. But you know, I we saw some people uh, several times at the uh, Quarters begging for money. Well, what we did, and, and I'm sure many of you listening to me, we're going to walk them into the uh, subway or the food place and say, look, order whatever you want. We're not going to give you any money. And so that's our way of charity if on the, on the quick 
more is caught than taught. They're able to watch that in throughout my life. And then of course, when you open up foundations, that's where it becomes real fun as what we've done uh, for the Haiti community ourselves and our firm uh, and other different places. So if you're a giver, there is, there's, I can tell you, blessed is the giver. I can tell you there's so much, so wonderful. The scriptures talk about it if you're a believer and it's better to give than receive. But I actually wrote, Alex, a white paper. It's better to give and receive. So I kind of like took the scriptures and twisted it because of the new tax law, Alex. I don't know if you're familiar. Maybe you heard about it. So for those of you that are 73 or maybe you're, uh, you have, you're under the old law, you started taking your required minimum distribution, which you must take. And the uncle Sam is going to tax you on it. Imagine you're getting a uh, required minimum distribution and you have to pull out, let's say $20,000 because you saved a lot of money and you must pull out this required minimum distribution. Well, if you're at a 20% tax bracket, that's going to, of course, cost you an additional $4,000 in taxes. It's blessed to give and receive. I wrote the paper. And if you'd like a copy of the paper, by the way, if you're out there and you want a copy of my paper, I'll give it to you. No cost, no obligation. Just ask for Bonnie. And when you call our office at 609-488-4646, please call Bonnie and ask, you know, how to give and receive more back. Because in the QCD, the Qualified Charitable Deduction, if you have to take money out for your required minimum distribution, and for those older people, you know what I'm talking about. Imagine you pull out $20,000, you're going to pay $4,000 in tax. And let's say you, you were going to donate that, all $20,000. Somebody, somebody out there saying, I'm not donating $20,000. Well, those other people that are listening to me right now do do that. So let me give you the numbers. Imagine you're cutting a check for $20,000. You took the RMD, you paid $4,000 in tax, but did you get a $4,000 write-off? And the answer is no. So the tax return tells you, maybe I should do a QCD, give it to my charity, my foundation, uh, my church, my synagogue, whatever your place of worship is. And now you receive the, they receive a check directly for $20,000, you don't receive it as income and then pay tax and then give the $20,000, not a great solution. So if your advisor hasn't looked at your tax return and you guys talk, you spoke about giving and how the effects of giving could really benefit you using the QCD new uh, law that's been passed. Well, new, it's actually an older law, but I remember it had a, had a couple exemptions but then they finalized it and President Obama made it permanent under the QCD. And it's a wonderful way to give and get more back. So if you'd like a copy of my weight paper, give and get more back, 609-488-4646. I'd love to help you with that. I mean, it's, it's nothing better, Alex, than giving gifts and you shop around for gifts and, and it's Christmas time or Hanukkah or whatever you celebrate. Um, I guess the question is when you see somebody open the present, they're excited. How great would it be to get a nice tax benefit? Well, that QCD is one of them. Anyway, sure. let's use the tax brain. <laughs> yeah. No, and if you have questions about charitable contributions and what making those means for you and how to do that smartly and also just questions about your legacy, I know that's something very in important as we talk about a comprehensive retirement strategy. That number again, 609 Four eight eight four six four six six zero nine four eight eight four six four six. Scott gets jacked up about stuff like this. I mean, it's great to help people retire, but then also thinking about you know what really matters to us, Scott, and and that legacy is something that's just so important for a lot of us. And uh, you know, not everybody's situation is the same, but you know, there's a lot of folks that have people. Uh, family, uh, you know, organizations that they really want to make an impact on um, as they, you know, maybe pass on and they want to leave um, a legacy. And so this is something that I know that you deal with and uh, it's something you got to think about. You're thinking about the whole plan and this is not something to be overlooked. Uh, you know, how does this factor in? What kind of legacy do you want to leave uh, is very important to address and make a plan for. You know, a lot of people are thinking right now, Alex, as you're thinking about donating and charity, let's talk about your family. Mm -hmm. I think about several people have businesses 
And the question is, how do I transfer my business to my son, my daughter, or my kids? How can I do that and be under the tax bracket? Is it going to be taxable or non-taxable? And then I think about when you look at the guide to the, the, the federal estate tax, and what is it, 2023, the threshold, the estate tax. I thought it was, uh, uh, some people are saying, I thought it was $10,000. I thought it was 9000 Well, actually, um, you're allowed to give your kids, if you are single, you can give your kids, uh, 2023, the exemption uh, and the right, as long as you fill out the right tax paperwork, is, is like twelve million nine hundred thousand dollars. So if you've got twelve million and you're single, uh, please adopt me. Uh, uh, I'm I'm optable at this point. I think you are too, Alex. Oh yeah, <laughs> sure. Oh, I'm a free agent. But you know, at least say, well, I want to give my kids each one of my kids twenty thousand dollars this year. Great. You are allowed to do that. If you want to give them twenty five thousand, you're allowed to do that. But you must file the right gift tax return and you can donate that money. So the, the normal basis, of course, you give the kids the, the $10,000, a little $12,000, big deal. What if you want to give them more? How can you get around that? And I can tell you when we do taxes, we talk about people gifting to the kids, um, whether it's property, cash, a stock. What a great way to do that and not Neither you or your children are going to pay tax. So again, if you have an advisor, please make sure you also speak to your tax person as well. And in our firm, well, we have the tax people, we have the advisors as well as my, you know, myself and George and other wonderful people. But you want to look at the whole whole benefit of giving, and this is a great way. And that doesn't mean during the holiday times of Thanksgiving or uh, Christmas time or Hanukkah or whatever. This could be out there throughout the year. Maybe you want to give your child, you have one child out there that needs a, a, a help, a helping hand up on a monthly basis. And you want to give them an extra $5,000 a month. That's a lot. I wish you would adopt me again, but, or maybe $500 a month. Again, how you give the money once you meet the exemption rules, if it's over the amount that's uh, allowable for the year that you start giving, then you must file this gift tax return. And it's one form. And this could really be able to help some of you guys who want to give your kids some money or some assets or transfer of assets. A great way to do it. Yeah, very important stuff. And again, that number for Scott and his team, 609-488-4646, 609-488-4646. Great time of year as we think about giving and a great time to ask these questions about what this means for me moving forward with charitable contributions, leaving a legacy and, and things like that. So good discussion here today. Thank you for that, Scott. And when we come back, we're going to talk 401k and also IRA decisions. This is Financial Insanity with Scott McClain. Hi, this is Bonnie from McLean Advisory Group, wishing you comfort, hope, and joy. Happy holidays. Thanks for listening. Who likes uncertainty? Wall Street certainly does not. With near record inflation and partisan politics, there's a lot of uncertainty right now. What will America's future look like? What will your future look like? Will your taxes go up? Will your savings go down? For more than 40 years here in the Jersey Shore area, Scott McLean and the team at McLean Advisory Group have seen uncertainty come and go. No matter what the future holds, Scott can help you create a plan designed to preserve your finances in uncertain times. And it's not a matter of if those uncertain times will show up, but when. Call 609-488-4646 now to meet with Scott McLean and the team at McLean Advisory Group. If uncertainty is causing you to feel insecure, Scott McLean might be able to help. Call 609-488-4646 and schedule your visit today. Again, that's 609-488-4646. Investment advice is offered through Bell Point Asset Management, LLC. Investing involves risk, including the potential loss of principal. This is Financial Insanity with Scott McLean, presented by McLean Advisory Group. Today, we are talking about why it's important to work with an investment advisor who can help you navigate the complex legal and tax landscape. Oh yeah, it's a lot out there. Remember, if you have any questions, 
The number, 609-488-4646, 609-488-4646. This is Financial Insanity with Scott McLean, McLean Advisory Group. And Scott, please talk to me a little bit about why it's important to discuss retirement's complex legal and tax issues with an advisor. I want to drive to Florida. Okay. The worst place to drive from New Jersey, Alex, is when you get to that D.C. belt. I think many of you can really relate to the D.C. belt. So, frankly, uh, when we're hauling our, our horses, uh, I actually put the map on. I wake my wife up since I'm driving the uh, six horse. Sure. I just don't want to. I want to go on the outer belt. Everybody knows what I'm talking about because you get stuck in the middle of the D.C. traffic. It is a flipping nightmare. Hmm. And of course, especially when you're pulling animals. Why do I tell you that? Well, in the preparation, I actually have my uh, GPS set up. And, and then, then, of course, we have water in the, uh, in, in the uh, stalls. We have hay in this stall. It's a lot of work when you're moving animals from point A to point B. It's a lot of work when you're planning a trip. And when you plan a trip, uh, do you have, in my mind, do I have enough tools to maybe, if what if the tires go flat? Who do I call? What if something happens? And it happened to us just uh, last year when it was a terrible accident my daughter and my yeah. wife got into. Right. But, but notwithstanding, when you're in pre preparation for a long trip, by the way, you don't stop. For those of you who are unaware of animals, when you're driving uh, horses, you don't stop. It's about a 16 to 18 hour drive where we're going and uh, you just keep going. So obviously you take a couple uh, potty breaks if you get a little uh, something to eat, but it's a nonstop trip. And the horses, of course, need to get their self set up when they get there. What am I talking about? Planning for a long trip requires strategic planning. Mm. You might not think about checking the air and the pressure and oil, maybe checking the uh, all the lube and the cars up to date, the, the, the bearings. Every little item could cause a tremendous nightmare. When it comes to retirement, Alex, I I'm not sure if you're aware, but when you're taking money out of your retirement income, that's the tax return. When you're planning to pull money out, it's all of the investments, whether they're IRAs or 401ks or 403bs, whether they're uh, your non-qualified money, meaning non-qualified money that uh, is taxed differently, long-term capital gains, short-term capital gains. When you invest in the world of investments, you're investing in either ETFs or mutual funds or stocks, depending which of course is the lowest price, lowest fee. And then, of course, you're looking at how do I now put all of this together and to design a plan where in the first phase of retirement, I call it the go-go years. You're going to screw up in the go-go years, Alex, but that's part of the financial planning uh, process, sure. which could lead your money to a mousetrap, which is what I put in my book. The financial planning process can lead your money to a mousetrap. What I mean, not paying, paying attention to taxes, not paying attention to the legal ramifications, and then not paying attention to when you're pulling money out. How is it structured? You know, if, if you're going through that right now, I think about this all the time, Alex. I would love to speak to you off the air. Um, I, you know, I've been doing this now. I think it's the 43rd year of my industry, my business, I've been involved. Uh, I am still good looking. I may be a lot older, but I can tell you, you know, when it comes to retirement or planning your retirement, 609-488-4646 could be the best number you could ever had. Why? Well, 609-488-4646. That phone number could ask me questions off the air. No cost. We don't charge. We've been this nonprofit radio station for so many years at WBNJ. And the reason we're here is because we all we do is offer educational information for you. So when you're in retirement and planning your retirement, you, of course, have a, a resource center to go to. How do I do this? And what I find in my world of financial 
planning as a mousetrap. I talk about the as the financial planning leads your money to a mousetrap. How do we put all of this together? Hmm. There's nothing worse than making a cake and leaving the wrong ingredient out or too much salt. It ruins everything. And so when you think about a financial advisor, did he or she, did the financial advisor look at the tax ramifications, the legal ramifications, and the investment ramifications? Because this could be a real trap that you don't even know you're in. So uh, I'd love to be able to speak to anybody. If you have questions right now, I have answers, 609-488-4646. But notwithstanding, I think, Alex, when we talk about the the go-go years, Mm -hmm. you're going to be blowing a lot of money. I mean, you go down to when you're taking a trip to Florida, you're going to spend money in gas. Uh, If you're, if you're, if you're really frugal like me, you try to find the best gas price. Uh, You want to make sure, is it big enough to turn around this big uh, trailer? If you're doing that, or for those of you in a speed race car, you want to make sure, I don't know how these people are going to be doing this, these electric cars, you got to stop every so many miles, but me, I want to go, I want to keep going. But looking at retirement, Alex, when you're looking, if you're not paying attention, the financial advisor is not looking at the whole picture. It would be like going to a doctor. Alex, let me give you an example of you out there. Yeah. Alex comes to me. I'm Dr. McLean. And uh, Alex says, well, Scott, you know, I've been having these headaches for the past five years coming to you. Do you think, and Alex says, Scott, do you think I should uh, get an MRI? And if I said to Alex... Yeah, that's a good idea. Scott, Alex then says to me, Scott, do you think I should get a uh, EKG and maybe a blood test and urine test? Uh, and what do you think? And I say, you know, Alex, that's a great idea. If you didn't fire me immediately, then you're just double dumb. Hmm. What I mean, if the advisor is not asking deep questions, questions like, Do you have a special needs son or daughter? Oh, they're Down syndrome and they live with you? And how do you plan on taking care of them? That's not a financial discussion, but it really is. How is the child going to be taken care of? These questions are really deep and they will be part of your retirement. I know you're probably thinking, if you're listening to me right now, well, what's that got to do with retirement? Everything. Again, when you're taking that trip from New Jersey to Florida and you want to avoid the the uh, the DC the roundabout, well, you need to really be on your game. So in the early years, it's a go-go years. You might be spending a little bit more money, but having somebody hold you accountable. Then you got the slow-go years. You don't want to do as much. You did it. You done it. Maybe you don't want to do it again. And so maybe your spending your is a little bit less. And then the no-go years. No, I don't want to do it. Go have fun, kids. Here's a couple bucks. Enjoy life. How is your money spent down? What is the game plan? And this is not a set it and forget it deal. This is a this is almost like uh, going to the masseuse every year because you need a tune up or maybe the chiropractor to making sure your money is in a good place. Absolutely. 609-488-4646. 609-488-4646. And with just a couple minutes we have left here in this segment, Scott, you know, it's not just about picking the right investments. You have to consider a lot of factors, tax consequences, your estate plan. There's just a lot there to it. And to your point, like a successful road trip, a lot of details and better to talk to somebody who's been on that trip before than going into it blind for the first time. You know, and one thing we didn't even bring up, which was health care. That's another left hook right around the corner, let alone, um, your spouse getting sick or disabled? How are we spending money down? Do we do we open up a trust? How do we hide our money, or I should say, reposition our money, so the estate doesn't get squandered away? And then, of course, the nursing care facility gets it out. Now we can use the Medicare Medicaid planning and hide assets to protect it for who? The the t- children, though the wife, the husband. How do we do that? And so when people give us a call at our office, uh, I'd love to take your call at 609-488-4646. By the way, that's our website, just at dot com. I'll help you or guide you, try to give you some kind of ideas. And, and I can tell you the time we spend together will be very valuable for you, not for Scott, for you. I've done this for so long and I love what I do. I love guiding people. I love more when you hear the information and then you 
take action. There's nothing worse than these educated dummies who has all this knowledge but never apply it. 609-488-4646. I'd love to talk to you off the air. And Scott, really important question, the most important question you get all day. What does a bee use to brush its hair? A bee? Yeah. Bumblebee. Like used... a bumblebee. What does it use yeah. to brush its little hair? I don't know. A honeycomb. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you, dude, are you drinking? Yeah. What, what's going on here? No, no, no. It's, it's pure gold. <laughs> I love it. 609-488-4646 is the number. 609-488-4646. Four six four six. Just at a dot com. And uh, real quickly here, about a minute left, but they might get the pleasure of hearing Bonnie on the other end. I know Bonnie is huge to what you do over there, and she's somebody. If you don't get a hold of Scott when you call, Bonnie will point point you in the right direction, right? She will do it. She takes care of my books. She is amazing, and I can tell you when you when you if ever people people come into our office. You know, and you want to get more information, uh, I'd love to get to get your hands uh, on my book, uh, The Three Blind Mice, How the Financial Planning Process Leads Your Money. It's totally, totally complimentary. You come visit with me. That's my gift to you. If you like to read, just don't take it because it's not made for firewood, but it's made to fire you up to get your finances in order. 609 488 Four six four six again six zero nine four eight eight four six four six. Just at a dot com for the website. We come back. We're going to continue talking about how to navigate through the complex legal and tax landscape in retirement. Don't go anywhere. Hey, this is Scott McLean. I want to wish you guys a tremendous, wonderful holiday. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, and all the lovely greetings we have for you. Proud to be in your life as we try to give you the financial information so you don't go insane. Happy holidays. It's nice when you get everything on your list in one place, isn't it? Scott McLean from McLean Advisor Group agrees. That's why he offers comprehensive retirement planning all under one roof. You shouldn't have to go one place for tax planning, another for estate planning, and another for retirement income planning. That's why McLean Advisory Group was started. Scott wanted to build a company that could help families with all aspects of their retirement planning. McLean Advisory Group is more than just convenient. They're knowledgeable and experienced. And for answers for your questions, you can set up a meeting with Scott and his team to talk about your retirement. 609-488-4646. That's 609-488-4646. Use the same number to reach a team online. 609-488-4646.com. Investment advisory services are offered through Bellpoint Asset Management, LLC. Firm offers insurance services but does not provide tax or legal advice. I'm on the fence about a real tree. I've, I've done the real tree. When you have that fake one that's in three different pieces, you just bust it out every year and you take a second and it's already got the lights attached to plug it in and boom. <laughs> I do like the smell. I do like the smell of Christmas Yeah, pieces. but you can get that smell, you know, in different ways. But anyway. We made it back. This is Financial Insanity with Scott McLean, presented by McLean Advisory Group. Today, we are talking about why it is so important to work with an investment advisor who can help you navigate the complex legal and tax landscape. Remember, if you have any questions, the number is 609-488-4646, 609-488-4646. I'm Alex Dingman, here with the more important member of the show, Scott McLean, McLean <laughs> Advisory Group. And Scott, I know we were talking here just about really equating getting ready for retirement a lot like a big road trip. And I thought you had a great analogy. If you just recap again, the road trips that you take here with your horses down to Florida and what does that have to do with planning for retirement, Scott? You know, as you plan a road trip, whether you're taking animals or not, it requires a lot of work. And I was like talking about before when you're taking these horses and you're pulling behind the truck, you want to make sure everything's all set up. Animals, the hay, the feed, the, the water, it's a nonstop trip. It's 18 hours. It's a long trip. It's an arduous trip. And all of a sudden you get a flat tire. Do I have tools? And thinking of every possible indication that could slow your trip down or cause your trip to turn into a 
catastrophe. Hmm. Same thing as retirement. And so when I think about all the lat tax and legal issues where where I think a lot of people are just absolutely not paying attention to it, all of a sudden you're you're doing well and you or your lovely spouse are having a wonderful time. You take a trip, you come back, you're out in the golf course and you swing the ball, you hit the ball, whatever it is. And as you can tell, I'm not a golfer. <laughs> but and all of a sudden you you wake up the next day and you're sore. Hmm. And find out that maybe your blood count's changing, your white counts are changing do i have my wife can she call because i go to the doctor who's the power of attorney for health care matters just because you're married she's not or he is not the one in charge or maybe your partner they're not in charge unless you have a document called power of attorney for health care matters now why is this important to finances you know as a fiduciary in our in our firm i want to make sure your button, my people that I work with, my clients are buttoned up to, I need just, just ironclad buttoned up. I want to see the will, power of attorney, living will, healthcare directive. Maybe you need a trust. Maybe you have a, maybe you need a, uh, a special needs trust. Maybe you've got some knucklehead kids that if you gave them a dollar, they're going to spend $4. Maybe you need a trust that'll delineate or pay out the money on a monthly basis. This is so, so important. By forgetting the taxes is like not filling up the tank all the way to the top and you have to make unforeseen stops. You can't make unforeseen stuff. Or maybe making sure the tires are inflated on this long trip, but you're not paying attention to the tires and now you're getting worse gas mileage and you could have a blowout, which could cause your trip from 17 hours to 24 hours, or maybe you're not paying attention to the legal matters. What happens? God calls you home. Who gets your money? And maybe you have a ex spouse as a beneficiary. You forgot to change when you got remarried again, another legal battle just set up down the road, or maybe you're just sitting there and you think about all the legal aspects and tax aspects and you pass money on to the children or to the grandchildren, how is that taxable? Can I avoid taxes? Alex, I don't know about you, but if you're not paying attention, as a fiduciary for the financial areas, I believe in my mind as the three blind mice, they need to talk to each other. The three blind mice would be your accountant, your financial advisor, and of course your legal. Whether they get together or not, the advisor I believe should be the quarterback, he should look at the whole play and then guide as you're going on this journey called retirement. What if this happens? How is it taken care of? What if your lights start to go dim and now you got to go to a nursing home? How does that take place? What are the taxes involved if you have to pull extra money out? Should I put money into a trust? If you're thinking about those questions, well, give yourself a hand, give yourself a clap. Because if you're thinking about it now, take action. There's nothing worse than brilliant people taking no action. I call them double dumb. Don't be double dumb. Take action. When people give us a call at our, our studios and ask questions at 609-488-4646, when they ask these questions, Alex, and they give us a call or they go to our website at 609-488-4646.com, we've got some neat things that we're adding to our, our, our site to help you think through this, I call it the love affair of finances, your will or your legal documents, your, your financial documents, and then your tax documents. They must be looked together almost like, as I say in my book, like when I was talking in my book, I talk at the composer. Well, the composer is one. Now we've got the conductor who's going to take the composer's music Go to the wonderful orchestra and now let's play this beautiful music. Or could it be a disastrous music and it doesn't play out? I can tell you as a musician, one wrong note can be picked up by everybody. One wrong note in your financial plan could be picked up by the crows and the clowns that show up at the funeral. Yeah. Do you have them in your life? I guarantee they're there somewhere. 609-488-4646. Write that number down for yourself. If you have questions, I have answers. And if I don't have answers, not act like a smarty pants, 
I guarantee you, I can call so many people at the push of a button. I can call brilliant people that can answer some questions or get answers for you because there's nothing worse than going into retirement or going into a long trip and not prepared. This is a nightmare. Well, and truly smart people surround themselves with even smarter people like you just yeah. talked about. And so Scott can be that for you for your finances. 609-488-4646. Now, Scott's one thing that's very important, and I know you do this, but making sure that you have an advisor who's keeping up with the latest legal and tax changes that could affect your yeah. investments because it's it's not a set it and forget it. It's not a, well, this was right 10, 20 years ago. I'm sure everything is fine. No, you got to have somebody like Scott McLean there looking at these things and, and making sure that the right choices are being made at the right times. You could have said that any better. I think the IRS this is not a laughing matter, even though the IRS, sometimes people get scared. I think the key is an IRS starts knocking on your door for unpaid taxes or penalty. Or now we're in probate. Now we have to pay a whole bunch more money when it could have, you could have maybe had set your estate up to be as probate free as possible. Hmm. Or maybe you don't have the legal documents and your 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 spouse, your child, maybe they don't have a power of attorney. And now you've got to make decisions by not paying attention to those details, not only causes your car to go off the road or I say your finances to go off the road, but it also this un do stress and worry. I want to, I want to, some of you may be going through a health issue. And if you're going through a health issue right now, I can pray for you. But on top of a health issue, let me get to the nitty gritty. Do you have a power of attorney? Do you have a backup power of attorney for healthcare matters and or financial matters? Both. There's two different types. And by not paying attention to, I believe the financial advisor's job I believe, or I take it personally, if I don't know all about my clients and know what to do if their lights go dim or maybe they go out, or maybe there's a child that maybe we need to protect from money going to the child, we need to open up a trust account. How do I protect this money that's been endowed to me to protect them as a fiduciary? How can I make sure the best of my ability and capability to educate a client in these areas and my, I should say my, I, my clients are my friends, am I doing the very best to make sure that you are buttoned up in these areas? And if not, it's my job, I believe personally, to call your lawyer. Hey, I've noticed this in the agreement. How come there's not a backup to the power of attorney? How come there's not a backup to the executor? You know, I hear the daughter is uh, Down syndrome. How come you don't have a special needs trust planned inside the estate? And when I see this, it's almost like all the advisors today, most of them, not all of them, just want to say, what can I get? Not what can I, how can I help? How can I get something out of you? Oh, and they push it off. Like daddy always said, don't push off a problem when you can handle it. Yep. Well, let's call the guy, call this guy, let him handle it. No, it should be the quarterback, the financial power, the financial guy or a gal in your life that would make those calls because Chances are you don't know the questions you're asking, but the financial person involved should know those questions. 609-488-4646. If you have questions, the number for Scott and his team, 609-488-4646. Just a couple uh, moments left, but I wanted you to hit on something because you were talking of, and going through the different details that someone must think about. And a lot of the stuff, it's not fun. To think about. You don't want to think about having a plan for your health problems in the future. I want to talk about going on a trip. You know, those are the yeah. kind of things. But what you can do, Scott, is you can step in and because sometimes when we're talking about our own money or our own lives, our heart can get in the way of our own head. We need some, you know, what we care about and when we want something to be true. And sometimes that can mask what we should be doing. And, and that's where you can step in, Scott. And not that you're heartless. I, I know you. you. You care about everybody that you're dealing with, but you can also look at things critically and think about, okay, what makes the most sense? What's the smartest thing here? What's going to have the, the least amount of bad consequences? And sometimes you have to step in and say, hey, I know this is really important to you and I know why it is. Let me explain to you here why this is an alternative way to think about things that could actually be better for you in the long run. 
the questions I ask people or my advisors ask people are questions that you might have thought about but kind of push it away because it's too hard to think about. Like maybe your spouse's lights are going dim. Maybe they have to go to a nursing home. You take them home or not. How do I handle it? How do I handle the money? These are really, really questions that it hits your heart and you don't want to face it. And I'd rather bring it out up front versus wait until the last minute and the causing more trouble, more problems later. So you've got to ask these hard, hard questions. For example, let's say you have a, a son or a daughter and if they, if, if they inherit your money, are they going to blow it? Or maybe they've got a wife or I should say a spouse, a husband or wife, a spouse that you know, you're lost your relationship with your son or daughter because the spouse pulled you away from your child. How do you pass the money on? These are real questions that you don't want to talk about because this is really close to heart. And you kind of like, you kind of get, I've, I've had people come to my office, Alex, and, and we talk about these areas because again, it's about your money and buttoning up your estate. But again, we've got to ask deep questions and how do we pass the money on? And all of a sudden you have an estranged child because of a spouse possibly, or maybe they have a special needs son or daughter as we handle a lot of that. And all of a sudden they have their estate set up wrong. They, you pass away, your wife, or your spouse passes away. The money goes to your son, but your son passed away. Now, how does that money go down? Do you want it to go to the spouse or your children? Well, maybe you need a testamentary trust to make sure it goes to the child and maybe a different trustee because you maybe don't want the spouses to handle it. You want someone else because they could get remarried and now your money goes to the new family. These are questions you don't want to think about. No one wants to talk about your kids passing. By the way, it happened in my family. You guys understand I've been through some challenges that I'm able to take from my life experiences put it inside of my financial practice and help who help those of you listening right now. Cause when you've been through a bump in the road, well, maybe you just know how to avoid that bump for someone else and they don't have to go through the anxiety, stress, excessive taxes and the crows and the clowns that end of eventually shows up at the funeral. That's chapter 11 of our book, Alex. If you want chapter 11, I'll email to you. Call Bonnie, 609-488-4646. Ask for chapter 11. We can email it to you today with totally no cost, no obligation. I Just give Bonnie a call, 609-488-4646, and say, Bonnie, I'd like to read chapter 6 of Scott's book. Uh, you know, I don't, I'm not a good reader, but I'd like to read that. I can tell you you will love it you'll hear my life experiences and action steps that you can apply today not tomorrow don't be double done with all this knowledge take action don't put it off i've got questions you've got questions we've all got questions coming up next scott answering those questions with our mailbag segment stay with us this is financial insanity This is Alex Dingman of Financial Insanity with Scott McClain. Wishing you a happy holidays. I hope you have good health and get everything on your wish list. Thanks for listening. Who likes uncertainty? Wall Street certainly does not. With near record inflation and partisan politics, there's a lot of uncertainty right now. What will America's future look like? What will your future look like? Will your taxes go up? Will your savings go down? For more than 40 years here in the Jersey Shore area, Scott McLean and the team at McLean Advisory Group have seen uncertainty come and go. No matter what the future holds, Scott can help you create a plan designed to preserve your finances in uncertain times. And it's not a matter of if those uncertain times will show up, but when. Call 609-488-4646 now to meet with Scott McLean and the team at McLean Advisory Group. If uncertainty is causing you to feel insecure, Scott McLean might be able to help. Call 609-488-4646 and schedule your visit today. Again, that's 609-488-4646. Investment advice is offered through Bell Point Asset Management, LLC. Investing involves risk, including the potential loss of principal. Sounds like the mailman's here. It's time to answer questions from the McLean Advisory Group Mailbag. Now it's time for one of our 
funnest segments. We really enjoy this. Getting questions from the audience. Scott, I know you're ready for our mailbag segment. You're listening to Financial Insanity. And if you hear something and it raises uh, an idea, concern, something you may have, 609-488-4646 is the number. 609-488-4646. And Scott, let's just jump right into it here, my friend. Here's the the first uh, question. Uh, This person's worked the same company for 25 years. They had a 401k there. That's great. But a big merger, and now I'm not sure how to track down that account. I've definitely heard of this happening before. What tips do you have for, Scott, for trying to seek out that old 401k? Wow. Well, first of all, they should have a statement at least once a month, if not once a quarter, for the statements, the statements of the 401k. If they've been there for 25 years, I can tell you they've been either not paying attention to statements or maybe they checked off a box on their investment to make it all email, but they need to call the HR department. Of course, based on the big merger, you want to see if there's any stock options. Did they have any stock options? Were they there before the company? Obviously, you've been there for 25 years. There might be some options there. And so you need to go to the HR department, then over the investment department, ask them, of course, uh, Where's, where's the money? Maybe maybe it's payroll. Maybe it's that simple. But it's being real proactive. And if you start hearing the rumbling in the street, make sure you get your, your affairs in order. And then have a meeting with someone, with an advisor who can look at holistically their investments. And if they got laid off, not laid off, there's going to be a buyout. What's going to happen? This is a lot of questions there. That's a huge question on just one simple question, but it's really, really big. And I think you're going to hear, based on the economy, how it's going, you're going to hear about perhaps layoffs. Like when I was a young kid in, in the 80s, they call it age discrimination. Well, now they can just go ahead and get rid of the old people because they have it contractually. So this is really important. You pay attention to your investments, your dollars. And, and again, where are they to make good money? That's great, Scott. All right. Another question here. <laughs> Uh, This person says uh, they've done a pretty good job keeping track of that uh, dreaded B word, the budget, and (laughs) finances during adult life. But important question here, why is it so important to have someone else do this budgeting for you in retirement? (laughs) You know, everybody who wants to win in sports and goes into competition, they're not their own coach. They've got to get a coach. And so you might be overlooking things, uh, maybe overseeing that how you're working out, how you throw the football, how you hit the golf ball. They need a coach. When it comes to investment, this is really, really challenging. When you try to do it yourself, you run the budget. And if you go meet with the investment advisor who's done this for many, many years, they've seen people make good mistakes, uh, good mistakes and bad mistakes. There are good mistakes. You can correct things. Obviously, at least you tried. But there, there's no do-overs in retirement. So having another set of eyes is almost like, uh, well, it's almost like when I was looking for my keys the other day and, and my wife said, well, I said, where's my keys? Where's my keys? Where'd you put my keys? Scott, look on the table. I'm looking on the table. Scott, are you looking at the table? Look to your left. I'm looking to my left. Now, obviously I was in a hurry. I wanted to make, I need to get out. But she said, she came over to me. She grabbed my hand kindly and, and very calmly, luckily. A scotoma is something you don't see, even though it's right in front of you. This is why people need another fresh set of eyes, because there are no do-overs in retirement. And one mistake could cost you hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars, especially in choosing your Social Security and then choosing the right investment options. Alex, next. Why are women so much better at finding things? That's not, it's not a question they're, that's they're been sent patient. in, but it's just true. It's just <laughs> more true. <laughs> All right. We are going over some mailbag questions today. If you have questions, the number 609-488-4646, 609-488-4646 at a dot com for the website. Scott McLean, Financial Insanity, out of the box thinking for your financial sanity. Another question here, Scott. What uh, is your best advice for someone who maybe is 10 years away from retirement and doesn't want to make any big financial mistakes? Huge uh, time here. If it was football, that'd be uh, the red zone, I would think, for your retirement. Boy, that's a great thought. 10 years. Most people come in the last six months or last three months. Hey, I'm retired next week, Scott. What should I do? Exactly right. So for, for those people that are in in or near, uh, I should say, re- nearing retirement, congratulations if you're 10 years away thinking about it. Number one, pay attention to taxes. 
pay attention to taxes. How can I increase my savings, pay attention to investing, shifting from the G to the I. TR equals G plus I. TR, total return equals growth plus interest. The goal is to starting shifting your assets to a more of an income play so you can live on the dividends and interest, not just on the growth. You can't spend growth. We spoke about that early in the segment. You can't spend growth, but you can spend the dividends and interest. 10 years away is a long time. How, where do I put my money? Should I focus on a Roth IRAs as well as my 401k? Should I, if my spouse is retired, should I go ahead and continue funding my spouse's retirement? How much liquid cash do I need so when I retire, I have enough liquidity? And then I think the big cuss word, most of the seniors or those becoming seniors like myself, here's a cuss word I think you need to memorize. It starts with the capital N and then the capital O. When people keep borrowing money from you, your kids keep coming to the well, perhaps you need to say no. And then I tell our clients, just tell them, the, I, I, my financial guy said I can't do it. Blame someone. I mean, when my daughter used to want to go out and date a couple of guys and she goes, dad, I really don't like that guy. I said, well, just tell him to come talk to me and, uh, and I'll, I'll help, help you out, honey. Use somebody else to help you out of that situation if you can't say no, because that's the biggest um, we, we never know when we need extra cash. It could be a, the money is for you and your spouse. If you're married, then it's for your livelihood. Then it's for your fun enjoyment. So the go, go years, it goes to slow go years and maybe you can start giving it away, but it's about you first, you and your lovely spouse or your charities, but actually you and your family first taking care of them. This is the biggest challenge I find because what happens is when you get to that point, Focus on your budget. But again, the cuss word, no. Start practicing no because I can tell you that will start to bleed your money when you go into retirement and you're starting to help your kids. Well, they need it. Well, you're hurting yourself. It could be painful. So be very cautious of that. If you have questions, the number for Scott, 609-488-4646, 609-488-4646. Just a couple minutes left, Scott. And I just wanted to ask sure. you, if somebody uh, maybe is on the fence about coming in, giving you a holler, uh, what can you tell people about what it's like, uh, the, the first contacts with you, and maybe that first visit? If somebody wants to come in, uh, maybe if you could just kind of explain what that process is like for folks that maybe are first-time visitors, first-time callers into you. Well, that's really enjoyable time. I think I encourage people as Alex, you were saying, uh, give our studios a call, 609-488-4646. Ask for Bonnie. And what will happen is Bonnie will say, okay, great. She'll schedule a time to come in or over the phone. She'll ask you some questions. She'll send you a little questionnaire, not in depth, but just to get to know you. I want to get to know people, whether it's over the phone, via the Zoom, the internet stuff, you can see each other, or coming into the office. We're going to ask lots of questions, questions that surrounding your family, who gets the money, your health, your benefits you have at work, your, your spouse, perhaps your spouse passed away. Maybe you have inheritance. We're going to talk about a lot of stuff about you because it's about who you, when I hear people going to a financial office and giving that and financial guy or gal money for the first time or going to the bank, to me, they're just double dumb. Why? You need to get to know the whole picture, not just a quick salesman. That drives me absolutely crazy when people come in there and say, well, we got a great product and they're selling product. It's not about product. It's about, well, we don't need, uh, if, we're a, if we're a carpenter, we don't need a drill and we don't need a bit. We just want that hole. Well, to get the hole, you got to have a drill and a bit. I want to know what kind of planning, what kind of personality you are. Is this a good fit for me as well as a good fit for you? It's a two-way street because retirement planning, investment planning is a two-way street. It's got to meet. I need to know your investment strategies. I need to know your investment outlook. I need to understand the good, bad, and ugly you've been through so we can avoid those issues. This is why, whether it's one meeting or two meetings, 
We don't do business the first one or two meetings ever. We get to know people. This, to me, is very important. I love it. I just love you framing that up for folks. 609-488-4646. 609-488-4646. This has been another episode of Financial Insanity Thank with you, Scott McLean. Great show as always, my friend. And uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. All right. You too, my friend and everybody out there. This radio program may contain information which has gone regulatory or other significant changes since its original recording. The information and views expressed on today's show is educational in nature and is not intended to be a recommendation for any specific investment, product, strategy, plan, tax, or legal advice. Information presented is believed to be factual and up to date, but we do not guarantee its accuracy. Investment advisory services offered through Sound Income Strategies, LLC. LLC, a SEC registered investment advisory firm. McLean Advisory Group and Sound Income Strategies, LLC, are not associated entities. This radio show is a paid placement. 